the great master power. The classification that is used, we call it the MRC. The MRC, the last time, is yes, Medical Research Council. The Medical Research Council, they, through their intervention, through their invention, they were able to upgrade master power mm -hmm. clinically. Okay? So you are going to be looking at how to create master power using the Medical Research Council uh, reading. To do that, see, to, to, to grade the muscles, but there are a lot of muscles everywhere. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here, everywhere. There's muscles. Even in the abdomen, there's six packs. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to be checking for the muscle power at the joint. We we'll use the joint. So I'm going to use the knee joint. We can use the elbow, we can use the wrist, we can use different, different places. But for this examination, I'm going to be using what? The knee joint. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use the knee joint and a particular range of motion. I'm going to be using extension. Okay? Extension. So there are six grades, starting from grade zero to grade five. So you have grade zero, one, two, three, four, five. Are we okay? Now, what is grade zero? How do you ever see that? As the patient, as you are, as the patient is lying down. You ask the patient to what? Press, okay, against the table using the knee. Okay, so do that. So when he's doing that, see, so do it. Okay. So either you are seeing some contraction, a flicker of it, or you are not seeing it. Either you are seeing or you are feeling it. If you can see, then you put your hand there. So do it, do it. Okay. So if I do that, I am looking at what? The quadriceps. Okay, the quadriceps is what, what's going to help me to press the knee firmly against what they get. So do it. Do it now. Okay, relax. Relax. Okay, do it now. Can you see any movement? Yeah. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So if you cannot, even if you cannot see, you either see or you feel. Mm -hmm. So if you feel, you can see that it has become tense. It has contracted. Are you getting that? Yeah. So if you cannot see any movement and you cannot feel any contraction, Okay, the place is it's not contracted, it's relaxed. When you ask him to press the knee against the table, then we'll say that there is no active movement. No active movement. No trace of movement, no active movement. And if there is no active movement, then that becomes what? Grade zero. Zero, you do it over five. Grade zero over five. Are we okay? Do that. Yes. Then now, when it, we can do it again. Great. So if you can see, the contraction, or you can feel it, or do it here. Both, both knees. Okay, you can see that it's contracted. You can see the, the, move, the movement. Then we can say that, that there's a trace of contraction, or flicker. A flicker or trace of what movement, or flicker or trace of what contraction. That becomes what? Grade 1 over what? 5. Are we getting that? That's grade 1. Then, the next one is going to be. The grade two. To examine grade two, you have to eliminate gravity. You have to eliminate gravity. And how do you eliminate gravity? By putting the patient onto the side. Okay. So I put the patient onto the side. So I lie on your side. So once you lie on the side, automatically the movement I'm going to be doing is going to be what horizontal. And if you are moving horizontally, gravity is equally distributed across that surface. So by so doing, you have eliminated what gravity. Because for gravity to act, you have to go up and down. So once I put him on the side, gravity automatically is going to be eliminated when I the motion is what? Horizontal. So I'm going to what flex his leg passively. Then I'll ask the patient to extend your what leg. So do that. So you can see that he's able to what move fully through that range of motion, which is extension. Yes, please. When moving or when extending the leg, is there any resistance? No, that one you don't look for resistance. He is supposed to what, move actively, so do it. You don't put any resistance. You are just going with what, the movement. So with that, we'll say that movement through full range of motion, as we are seeing, with gravity eliminated. So if you have movement through full range of motion with gravity eliminated, you're going to over five. Are we following? Normally, if you finish with one joint, you can go to the next joint and check like that. So you do it for all the joints, and the joints, they are controlled by what muscles. So that's why we are saying checking for muscle power. 
So that's grade two. The next one we are going to go to is grade three. Yes. With the grade two, can the patient be supine in abduction and abduction movements of the knee also be used? For, or for, for him to be. Yeah. So, so for that one too, the, the range of motion I'm using is extension. So that is why I have to put it like that. But assuming I'm using abduction and adduction, yes. With that one, it's going to be moving horizontally, yes. Because if it's abduction and adduction, it lies like this, it's going to move it up and down, and gravity will act. So depending on the range of motion that you are looking at, the positions may change. Okay. Then I'll ask you to what? Lift your leg, one. So what is he doing? He's moving the leg again, what? So to drop it. So you can lift the other one, you can compare. Okay. Are you following? Yeah. So that becomes what? Movement through full range of what? Motion against gravity. That becomes what? Grade 3 over 5. You're okay. Then we'll move to the next one, which is going to be grade 4 over 5. With grade 4 over 5, gravity is still going to be in play. And in addition to that, we are going to add some level of resistance. That is going to be what? Moderate resistance or some resistance. When I say some, I'm referring to what? Moderate. Okay? So this one, what I'm going to do is that. His leg is already in a flexing mode. I'm going to apply motor resistance and I'm asking to extend to the leg. So extend your leg. So I'm applying motor resistance and it's able to what, do that. It's able to what, extend the leg against my moderate resistance that I'm applying. So once he has fold, I will say that is grade 4 over what, 5. So grade 4 over 5 is going to be what? Movement through full range of motion against gravity with moderate resistance. If you don't like the moderate, you can say meet some resistance. Then finally, grade 5 over 5. The same thing, the only thing that will change here is that I am going to move from moderate resistance to what? Full resistance. So, again, now let's go. For grade 4 and 5, usually you want to compare. Okay, so I will do it here too. Okay, so I've applied full resistance and it's still able to what? Move the leg against that. Yes. Isn't the full resistance uh, doctor dependent? Well, all this is when it comes to clinical examination, physical examination, and it's subjective. The way you do it, that's not the same way somebody would do it. Uh -huh. So it's subjective. Yeah? So just draw you to what, what you are looking for. Okay. Yes. And the grade five, can you do both legs and Can you do both legs and No, no, no. You do one. If you do both legs and you're going to be completed. So you, you see, when you are listening to the chest, you move from one side to the other the same way. So once you check for this, you know the strength that has taken place, and then you check the other one. Okay. okay. So you document that for this leg, the power is what? Let's say grade 4 over 5. And here it is 5 over 5. That means that there is some level of weakness, small weakness here. So grade 5 over 5 is going to be what? Movement through full range of motion. Against gravity with what? Full resistance. Are we okay? Well, um, assuming the person is uh, not just a baby right future, or won't that also play a role? Whether no. The power is still the power. Yeah. <laughs>